We've been noticing that more and more women are taking their craft, their crafting ways, excuse me, and making it a party, turning a party scene out of those creative projects. It's like Girls Night Out has new purpose, you could say, and it makes sense because creativity multiplies when friends are around. But what about logistics and making sure you get something done and have a good time? There's a balance there. We invited Lynn Muir to share her experience. It's great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. You've been hosting, I understand, crafting parties for a long time. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah, a little over ten years. What what do you love about the Girlfriend Gather? Oh gosh, just bringing women together, being creative, you chat, you get something done, you you know, make something beautiful and take it home and it's just a fun night where everybody just has fun and chats and... So a lot of social socializing A happening. lot of socializing. What else? Describe <laughs> your scene for us. Um, you, you want so your, your guests to go home with a finished project. I, I do. That's always my goal is that everybody goes home with a finished craft. So um, usually, well, at first I started out doing them um, for church groups and then I started kind of trying to make a little bit of extra cash for kids sports or whatever we needed at home and then I just kind of and then it kind of evolved into this is just for fun and I just love bringing women together. So what I try to do is create like a grouping so I offer like one to three crafts and I things that kind of go together that you can put on your mantle for a holiday or a gallery wall things that go together that you can take home instantly put up and you feel good about what you've done so I was going to ask you about your project criteria have you yeah. found there are some projects that work better in the group setting than others yeah well you want to make sure because it's a group there's going to be all different kinds of levels and skill levels of crafting mm -hmm. beginning crafters expert crafters so you want to kind of make it so that it's something that everybody can do everybody can accomplish and I found a good way Way to do that is offer something that's pretty simple but you can customize with different colors or flourishes or different um, accessories like what give us an example um, of a good okay group craft. so this these are great these are these are something I would offer I would say you can buy one or all three or two or whatever okay and then they can customize their colors to fit their own home decor or uh -huh. fit their own holiday decor so uh -huh. You know, I offer lots of different paints at my craft nights. I always have a ton of different stuff out so they can choose from. And then, so they would come, they would paint this, mm -hmm. and then they would glue it on the back and then learn how to hammer those little nail heads in. And that's how they would create a cute little craft. Do you thing. save all of the details for the hands-on activity or are you prepping things I am prepping a few things, like the backing of the heart plaque. I will prep, prep all those. Anything that do, involves a nail gun or a saw, I prep <laughs> all that stuff and beforehand. Your guests are probably yeah. very grateful that you did. <laughs> I would like to teach people how to use, especially women, to teach how to use those. But, um, but yeah, for craft night, it's just about coming, enjoying yourself, being able to do a craft that you can talk with other, peop other women about while you're crafting and not be so into the craft that you can't enjoy socializing. Yeah, it sounds silly, but there's those crafts that do demand your full focus yeah. of attention. And those craft nights can be fun too where you're learning a skill, but I like to usually do the ones where everybody can just participate and have kind of a carefree, relaxed night. What's another project example? Okay, so this done? is another one that I've done and it's back here. Oh, cool. So it's just kind of a door hanging or you can hang it on your mantle. It's just kind of a fun, cute Valentine's kind of craft. I, I recognize that Ikea frame. Yes, this is an yeah. Ikea frame, so you can go, anybody can find these at Ikea, Ikea all over the world. And then just, you need some fake flowers. Mm -hmm. You will need a wire cutter to cut the flowers off. Mm -hmm. And then the birds are fun, and they're a fun little flourish, and um, adding little flowers to the female bird's head. Oh, cute, giving him a crown. Mm -hmm. And then a little top hat for the boy bird. And I brought stuff so we can make Yeah, let's do it, let's okay. do it. Okay, so this is really easy. You're just gonna take your rectangular piece. Okay. You're gonna glue on one side. Uh -huh. Just gonna kind of roll it up. And this is for these the are things like painting and hot gluing, things that anybody can do uh -huh. at a craft night. This okay. is not, you know, you don't need a lot of skill right. to hot glue. And then What's you kind of time frame for a good. I'd say girls. two to three hours okay. is a good. And usually, sometimes people stay after and they chat, and that's lots of There's fun. There's always some linger longer yeah. opportunities. <laughs> that's right. Um, so yeah, two to three hours. You just want to make sure that um, the craft can be done in that amount of time, mm -hmm. and that there's still the time for the talking, mm -hmm. the chatting. Um, you want to have snacks out. Oh, That's it's like something. A top hat. It's a little top hat for yes. your bird. Sorry, snacks. I didn't want to detract from oh. chocolate. Chocolate needs to be chocolate. on the table. <laughs> I usually offer something healthy, which is normally my go-to is grapes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Fruit. Check. Grapes, and then some chocolate, cupcakes, something delicious. Yeah. And then I make sure everybody has a water at their 
at their place. Yeah, yeah. So I set up, you know, just foldable tables and chairs, set everything out, put some, I use drop cloth, I don't use plastic, mm. um, because if we're painting, the plastic's gonna smear and get on somebody's clothes, so drop cloths are It's always great. fussy too, getting in and out of a table yeah. setting with plastic yeah. underneath. Yeah, so you. drop cloths are great for painting nights. Um, so anyway, so then you just glue this cute little top hat on your bird. I love that we're accessorizing the bird. I know. I mean, well, the bird it just itself adds, is an accessory to our wreath, but yes. let's not stop there. But it adds some whimsy, and yeah. it adds some, you know, it's a little romantic to have a little top hat, so. I I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I Cute totally agree. And it's simple, you know, that, that's quick. And adding all the flowers that, you know, and while you're chatting, this is something you can accomplish in one night. And when you set out your craft night, are you giving everybody the exact same? You talked about mixing and matching the paints, but does everyone have like the same birds, the same flowers? Um, usually, okay. yes. Everyone has the same, you know, the same wood blocks. And then they go choose their paint at, I set up like a table with paint and brushes. They go pick out their brushes, pick out their paint, mm -hmm. and then come back and get their craft on. Now you talked about the transition through your, you know, hosting experience of yeah. these craft girlfriend gatherings and you talked about a period of your time where you wanted to cash in a little yeah. bit. What does that setup look like? That, you know, that's great, especially if you want to earn a little money. It's awesome. You, I would say, people ask me this all the time, how do you add in or how do you um, count for your own how do you give, how, how do you pay yourself? Yeah, you're Sorry. putting a lot of time into this. Yeah, so I say the best way to do it is add up your craft, add up all the supplies, the paintbrush, the paint, the actual wood product or whatever you're doing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and double that. And that double is your payment for and the night. And you find women are willing to put that forward oh, yeah. for a big yeah, night Yeah, because usually if you are buying in bulk too for a craft night, which is another benefit to having a craft night, is you get all the supplies, you buy them in bulk, you get a better price for them. So you can add a little bit more to that to pay yourself mm -hmm. because you've bought in bulk. Yeah, you pay a restaurant to host a girlfriend's dinner. Yeah. So absolutely, if we're going yeah. craft night out, yeah. let's invest in it. Can we get in on your next event? Yes, I am so excited. I'm going to be actually hosting a series of free events where you just bring your own, I'll tell you what supplies to bring. You come to my house and we're going to be learning macrame and different types of crafts. And then I'm hosting a really fun event at the Baby Cubby okay. with Close to My Heart Scrapbook Company. And it's going to be kind of a mom's night out. It's going to be in April and all the details will be on my blog really soon. What's your website? Pocketfullofpaint.com. And you can find me on Instagram at Pocketful of Paint. And we'll put both links yeah. for you on our website. Okay. Great to see you, Lynn. Thank, Thank you, you for so much. Me.